Hi everyone, I'm Ivan Orlandini and today I will show you how to create this very simple satisfying animation in Blender. Let's start. So the first thing we're gonna need is to create all the structure that we will need for the animation. So let's start by deleting our default cube. Then we're gonna need to create a circle. After that, we're gonna need to go to edit mode we're gonna delete all these vertices. Then we're gonna need to move our vertices like this. Then we're gonna need to select these two vertices and extrude it by the Y axis all the way to the center, something like this. Then we're gonna need to get a modifier and we're gonna get a mirror modifier. Here we are. And just perfect. So now the next thing we're gonna need is to select all. Let's extrude by clicking Z all the way up. Something like this. Then we're gonna fix it later. Once we have done it, we can simply click on F to close our shape. Then we're gonna shade smooth. Then we're gonna need to go to edit mode, go to edges, select with Alt all the edges, click Ctrl B, and let's get a little bevel. Something like this will work just fine. And here we are with the first part. The next thing we're gonna need is to create our cylinder all the way up. That we're gonna be the rotor of our mechanism to satisfy with our racket. So let's create a cylinder. Then we're gonna rotate by 90 degree. Let's bring it up all the way to something like this. Then we're gonna need to shade smooth. And for now we're fine. So now let's duplicate our cylinder. Let's do something like this. Then we're gonna need to scale it up a little bit. Something like this will work just fine. After that, we're gonna need to go down here and change our snap to two vertices. Something like this. And here we are. The next thing we're gonna need is to bring it all the way to the rudder. Something like this. After that, another thing that we're gonna need is to bevel it a little bit, something like this. Perfect, like this, just perfect. So now another thing that we can do is to go down here to our modifier, add a subdivision modifier, something like this. Then we're gonna need to go to edit mode, select our faces, go down here, click on E, and let's get something like this. So now as you can see, we have our perfect shape. Here we are. Okay, so now we're gonna need to duplicate another time this cylinder. Let's bring it down here. Let's now scale it down to something like this. And this is gonna be our stick of the rotor. Now let's go down here, let's select this face and let's extrude it out to something like this. Then we're gonna fix it later. Here we are. So now that we are here, another thing that we can do is to duplicate another timer cylinder to something like this. And we're gonna need to scale it down a little bit to something like this. Just perfect. Now we can go down here, let's select our edges, select all of them, and let's bevel it a little, something like this. Perfect. So now the next thing that we're gonna need is to get this cylinder, duplicate it, rotate it by 90 degree, scale it down to something like this, a little more, 
to something like this. And here we are. This is gonna be the attach for our racket. So now the next thing that we're gonna need is this two stick that are gonna connect the rotor to the base. So let's duplicate this cylinder. Rotate it by 90 degree. Then we're gonna need to fix it to the center, something like this. And then we're gonna need to extrude it up all the way to the rudder, something like this. So now let's bring it a little to the left. Then we're gonna go to the modifier. Let's bring our mirror modifier. Let's select our mirror object, something like this. And let's change our axis to Y. And here we are. We can drag it a little to the center, something like this. And let's now get a little smaller our base, something like this. Perfect. We can even delete our default point light uh, and let's hide our camera. So now we need to import our ping pong racket. I'm gonna leave you in the description a link to download the Blender file to import it, but you can use whatever item you want. So now let's go down here, let's go to file, let's go to append, let's go to the folder, let's select our ping pong racket, let's go to collection, let's select it, and here we are with our <laughs> perfect gigantic <laughs> racket. Let's scale it down a little bit, something like this. Here we are. So now let's modify a little bit our object. Here we are. Okay, just fine. As you can see now, <laughs> our racket touches the our cylinder. So let's bring everything out a little bit, something like this. Okay, let's now select this and extrude it all the way in. And here we are. So now the next thing that we're gonna need is to create our ball. Let's select a sphere, a UV sphere. Here we are. Let's bring it all the way up. Let's align it to this part. Let's do it a little smaller, something like this works just fine. And here we are, just perfect. So now we're gonna need to create a little background plane. So let's create a plane, let's extrude it. Then we're gonna need to select this edge, click on E to extrude, go all the way up, something like this. Then we're gonna need to bevel it a little bit, something like this, and here we are. If you want, you can even scale to the epsilon a little bit, something like this, and here we are. Okay, so now we're gonna need to create the path that the ball will follow to simulate the bouncing of the ball. So let's bring in a path that we're gonna need to rotate by 90 degree to something like this. Then we're gonna need to move it to the sphere. The next thing that we're gonna need is to grab our points and we're gonna need to get some curves that we're gonna like. But we can easily modify it uh, once we have the animation done. So we can do it even later. For now I think that works just fine. So now let's bring it all the way to the sphere, to something like this, here we are. So the next thing that we're gonna need 
is to get our sphere to follow this curve. So let's go down here to object constraints. Let's add a follow path. Okay, so now we're gonna need to target our path. After that, we need to move our sphere all the way to our path, something like this, something like this. Perfect. And as you can see now, with our offset, we can get our sphere moving to the curve. Let's now fix position. So now that we can do from zero to one, and here we are. So now let's get a little higher our sphere, something like this. And here we are with our perfect sphere. Okay, so now we need to parent something in order to get the perfect animation. So let's start by clicking on our cylinder. Let's go to object, snap, cursor to select it. So now we have our 3D cursor all the way up to our cylinder. After that, we're gonna need to create a new empty plane axis, and here we are. Okay, so now we have to select our racket without the plane, and we're gonna need to select our cylinder, our smaller cylinder, and our plane axis. And we're gonna go with Ctrl P to parent them. Here we are. The next thing that we're gonna need is to select our cylinder and our rotor, and we're gonna Ctrl P on it. Here we are. And then we're gonna need to get our plane axis and parent it to this. Ctrl P, object. So now as you can see, if we move our rotor, we will move everything. And if we move our plane axis, we're gonna simply rotate our rocket. Here we are. And that's all for this episode. In the second and final part, I will show you how to animate and how to create all the materials for a perfect, satisfying animation. I hope you liked it and found it useful. In case, consider to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please leave a comment below. We see you at next video. Bye bye!